A year ago, in March of 2021, I resolved to stop buying train equipment on eBay because I had filled up every corner of my two layout tables. A year later, in March of 2022, however, I ran across an irresistible eBay listing by a thrift shop for a vintage Lionel train set, circa 1950s, in good condition. There was no further detail given, no listing of model numbers, and no close-up photos of the engines. Intriguing, and the price seemed reasonable. From the shape and color scheme, I recognized the engines as the model 2023 Union Pacific Alco AA pair. After consulting online sources and my copy of the 1950 Lionel catalog, I realized that all the key components of freight set 1467W were present in the listing photos. Produced for the company's 50th anniversary in 1950, the yellow and gray 2023 was the first Alco FA diesel offered by Lionel. These two anniversary freight and passenger sets rank among the most significant and desirable outfits offered by Lionel in the post-war period. The packing looks rather haphazard. The freezer bag contains a variety of small items. Some items have boxes, but other pieces are loose and unwrapped, including the transformer. Here is the complete collection, unpacked. The O-gauge manual switches are impressively heavy-duty, an addition to the original Lionel set. Here is the contents of the freezer bag, along with the Model 1044 transformer, not the original 1033 that came with the set. As noted in the eBay listing, the transformer did not initially work. Resoldering a broken wire solved that problem. The screws holding the case in place are missing, though. The metal figures and animals from England in the front row are very nice. The presidents in the second row and the handwritten wood block are a little odd. This is an overall view of the collection. The metal block signal is a Lewis Marx piece, not Lionel. The model 2023 has a die cast frame, three position E unit, two axle magnet traction, operating horn, operating front coupler, metal ladders front and back, illuminated cab, headlight, and number boards, windshield and headlight lens, ornamental roof horn, and Union Pacific nose decal. The 2023 is very similar in quality, features, and construction to contemporary EMD F3 units from 1950, such as the Santa Fe 2343. The 2023 can be seen as the younger brother of the 2343. Single motor, 22 inches in overall length, priced at $35, versus dual motors, 26 inches, and $42.50 for the F3 pair. There were numerous Alco diesels produced by Lionel between 1950 and 1969, including several Union Pacific versions, but the quality deteriorated drastically over the years. The Model 1066 from 1964, for instance, has none of the desirable features of the 2023 described earlier, 
and in fact has the fewest features of any post-war Lionel Alco diesel. This front view is really gorgeous. The Union Pacific decals on both of my engines are in excellent condition. The power unit shell is in generally good condition, although very dirty. The white residue is a mystery. I hope I am able to wash it off without damaging the paint. The dummy unit shell is in fair condition. I was disappointed to find one number board insert missing when I first unpacked this piece, but then, miraculously, I found it loose in the bottom of the large packing carton. This major blemish on the dummy unit is a mystery, not easily repaired. What could have caused this damage? Dampness? Heat? Some chemical? The 6456 Lehigh Valley Hopper has a crack and a chip in the side by the capacity designation. Possible shipping damage. The 6656 Lionel Line stock car with sliding doors is a really nice piece, first offered in 1950. It has a small chip in the upper right corner. The 6465 Sunoco tank car is in fine shape. All four cars have die cast staple end trucks with magnetic couplers. The 6357 Lionel SP illuminated caboose needs new wiring for the light, but is otherwise very good. Note the extensive white residue again here. The first attempt at cleaning was very successful. Look at the caboose shell now. In the process, though, I discovered holes punched in two of the cupola windows. The key question, of course, with my newly acquired Union Pacific freight set from 1950 is, does it run? While I did not want to run the equipment a lot before servicing and lubricating it, I did want to find out its operational status. The answer is yes. The engine runs surprisingly well and the reversing unit works perfectly. The cab lights both work, and even the bumper and switch light up. Definitely better than expected given the set's rather beat up exterior appearance. Next steps are first clean and service the equipment and then install this 53 by 33 inch platform and track as an upper level on my Texas special layout. Was it a good deal at $250, including tax and shipping? Maybe a little on the high side, but I am very happy with it. <laughs> 